Hey YouTube, RC Flyer here. Going to do a front landing gear mod for the E-Flight T28 Trojan. The mod is gonna include changing this out because it is a weak link. You can see how weak it is. And putting on a model free wing uh, for Motion RC, the landing gear that they have. This is actually used for a T33, but I'm gonna try to put it in this. I've heard and seen videos that this will work. So we're gonna do that. The first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the servo that does the steering. Now that that's off, we'll take off the front uh, plate and hopefully it'll just come off. All right, now the gear is out and let's do a fit test to see if the new one will fit. And the new one looks like it will fit. It will fit. Maybe a little tight, but it does fit. All right, guys, here's a super slick way to run the the wire for the servo um, for the motor to this. Basically used a super long zip tie, put it straight through the back, and now I can pull gently like so, and hopefully we can get this to shimmy through the small hole and out to where we need it to. So now that we have that, we'll flip it over and see if I can get this thing to feed up and out. And I can. So there we go. So a super simple trick to run wires in your plane. All right, now we're gonna do that trick one more time to get it under the battery spot and up and over. And now we have our cord in place. So you just undo the electrical tape. If you can, electrical tape can be a pain. And there we go. And then so I don't lose it, I'll plug it back in. Make sure you have it line up. So brown with brown and yellow up there with orange will match. And there, now it's plugged in. All right, guys, all in there. Now I'm going to have to power it up. Hopefully this thing will go up and then I can put the uh, steering uh, linkage back on to the servo and we should be good to go. All right, one of the things I forgot to mention is I had to purchase a reverse servo so that what was happening was when I hit the gear switch, one would go in and the front would be up and then vice versa. So this makes it so all the gears go up the same and down the same. So just an FYI if you do this mod. All right, landing gear is done. Steering works. Fits perfect. Gear down. Gear up. Gear down. Let's get the shock. By spring. And that's how you add an aftermarket front landing gear. Here's the original. And you can see how it's bent and weak. And you can see much stiffer. And I shouldn't have any problems landing uh, without the gear uh, bending. Again, if you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. Thanks for watching.